Zoy Grancharova and Ognan Bangi. And there you see Grancharova on the uneven bars. She's just 15 years old and just really beginning her international career. Strong event for Zoya as she's ranked 17th in the world currently in the all-around. And a bronze medalist on the floor exercise at the 81 Moscow World Championships. Her best score was a 9-8 in the floor exercise in the vault, Bangi. And Bangi did a round-off tuck somersault, a simple vault with a poor landing, and that's why he received such a low score. So the Bulgarians have the lead. Now we continue with round three competition. Gina Stallone, keep in mind that she was a last minute replacement for Kathy Johnson to enter this competition with Jim Hartung, who was the top gymnast last year, tied for second going into the final round. Now Gina did well on the balance beam in the second round, but she has not saved her best event for last. Gina took her better two events, floor exercise and balance beam, did them early, hoping to get her team into the finals, and she did. This, however, is not a weak event for Gina. Gina is currently ranked third in the United States as she took third place in the World Championship Trials. And she will be someone to watch in the up and coming USA Championships as her coaches, Bill and Donna Strauss, are very impressed with Gina's progress the last year. Solid exercise, nice performance by Gina Stallone. Gina Stallone from Allentown, Pennsylvania, where we will not get her score until her teammate Jim Hartung performs. But she has shown tremendous poise, and the unfortunate illness to Kathy Johnson has been a blessing for Gina. Now Jim Hartung going from University of Nebraska, 21 years old, even though we've seen him in the vault, and that's one of his best events. He has saved the rings, which he really excels on for the finals here. This is Jimmy's strongest event because he combines tremendous strength moves with exciting swinging motions in both directions. Jim, of course, is shooting for the Men's National Championship, which you will see on CBS coming up in June. And it's going to be quite an event, I'll tell you. Peter, Hart Peter Vidmore, Jimmy Hartung, and Bart Connor all trying to capture that crown. Here we go now, pressing to the handstand without bending his arms, a difficult strength part, and now watch the swinging motions in both directions with completely locked arms. This is virtuosity. He sure has this down pat, doesn't he? He sure does. Jimmy's looking more solid on the rings every time I see him. And now the dismount, a double twisting double somersault, very difficult. Oh no, a little under, had to put his hands down. That's gonna cost their team. So Jim Hartung went with his best for last, and Gina Stallone trying to mask her disappointment and what her partner just did. And that's what mixed pairs is all about, because you really need two good performances to make it all work. And this is a very difficult dismount. Jimmy just came a little short of rotation. As you can see, he lands and has to lunge forward and put his hands down. That's just too bad for Jimmy. So it's the top international event. It's mixed pairs, and you need help from your partner. We're going to get the scores now. And Jim, 9-5 because of his problems on the rings. Gina Stallone with a good 9-7, and that's the final score, 58-05. And it does indeed put that team in first place. Now, they were tied with Julianne McNamara and Bart Connor for second place after the second round. And they're coming up to see what they do in the finals. Final event for Julianne McNamara, 16-year-old, outstanding American gymnast. And her partner, Bart Connor. they need 19.25 to surpass Jim Hartung and Gina Stallone for the lead. Now, those two American duos were tied for second after two rounds. And Julianne McNamara, now the floor exercise. Julianne's going to be performing the double pike somersault, which is a very difficult opening tumbling run, and the same tumbling pass that took Tracy Talavera, her teammate, out of this competition earlier. Here it comes. A little bit over, but saved it by not stepping out of the area. Very good. Julianne was seventh in the all-round at the World Championships in Moscow, the highest all-round placement for a United States woman ever in Olympic or World Championship competition. And Julianne looks in top form for the up-and-coming USA Championships. See it all next Saturday on CBS Sports Saturday. In that world championship, Julianne finished seventh in this event. 
Julianne's a very strong tumbler, but she's also a very nice dancer. Over the last couple of years, she's uh, become more accustomed to performing in front of the crowd, and it's starting to show in her performances. Preparing for her final tumbling run, a double twisting somersault. Great landing. a 9-9 on the uneven bars, but she finishes off with a fine performance in the floor exercise and will await her score after her partner, Bart Connor, competes. So the Americans trying to capture this mixed pairs title, and now Bart Connor on by far his best event, the parallel bars. He was the world champion in 1979 in this event. And when Bart broke into the international scene in 1975 at the Pan American Games, this was his best event then, too. He took a silver medal there for the United States as a high school junior. What a career Bart's had. He's done it all. World Cup champion, world champion, national champion many times. Suffered a major surgery on his bicep muscle last year, came back from it, won the American Cup this year, and is getting ready for the USA Championships. That, too, you'll see on CBS Sports. And the dismount, double salto, excellent routine, as final one as Bart's done. Well, this duo of Bart Connor, who really knows how to play to the crowd, and Julianne McNamara trying to surpass Jim Hartung and Gina Stallone for first place. But let's not forget the Chinese. Here's Bart again. And you see Bart performing the double salto dismount, even points his toes on that. Nice landing. Bart looks great. So the score is 9-6-5 for Julianne and 9-8-5 for Bart Connor on his best event. And that team of McNamara and Connor have the lead, but the championship hinges on what this outstanding Chinese team does. They have led after each round, and they need 19.35 to win the competition. And first up will be Tong Xiu Li. She had a 9.75 in the floor exercise and 9.7 in the balance beam. And she has two chances on the vault with her best score going in the books, Peter. And, and Tong Xiu Li does a Sukahara in a pike position, which is not the most difficult vault, but still gets a high rating. She'll be looking for a solid landing here. Good lift. Decent landing, not a bad vault, but she gets another try now. Now, what would her coach tell her after that first ball? I think her coach would probably be saying something to the effect of look for the ground and try to make the landing solid without any steps or any hops backwards. Her teammate waiting in the wings. Zoli Min. What a performance he gave us on the high bar. We'll try to repeat that on the vault. In the second vault, and there we saw a better landing. That should get a higher score than the first one. Chinese team of Huang Shun and Yuji Li won last year. They have a new Chinese duo here, and they have been in first place. Okay, now here is Zhou Li Min. He gets one chance on the vault. And he as well is going to look for a solid landing to win this. Oh, came up short, had to step sideways. That's going to cost their team. And don't forget, only one chance on the vault, and so it looks like it'll be a scramble for the championship. The two American teams fighting the Chinese entry. What went wrong here? Zoli Min came up a little short on this vault, landed in a deep tuck and stepped sidewards, and that's a critical deduction. So 22-year-old Zoli Min with his final effort, and we'll be back with the final results in just a moment. The crowd here in Jacksonville, Florida, applauding Julian McNamara and Bart Connor for their come-from-behind victory to capture the Mixed Pairs International Gymnastics Championship. And there you see the finalists, the winners, Bart and Julianne, and a superb performance by the Chinese. Tong Xiu Li had a 9.45 in the vault in her final event, and Zhou Li Min had a 9.75. Fine performance, but it fell short as the Chinese were victorious last year with Wang Shun and Yu Ji Li. But the champions are the Americans for the second time in four years.
could be sure that Bart will be primed for the U.S. Men's Championships. The same for Julianne with the women's, and you'll see them both on CBS with the women's coming up next week on CBS Sports Saturday. But a big moment for Bart Connor and Julianne McNamara. Strategy really paid off in this one. Yes, it did. No strong events. Bart's parallel bars and Julianne McNamara on the uneven bars. Watch this ending sequence. There's a giant swing in preparation for the dismount. A front somersault with the half twist. Capped off a 9.9 .9 performance. The big highlight, John Tesh is with the winners. I'd say you guys just performed superbly coming from behind when you had to. Bart, you did the right thing, saved the best for last, the P-bars, and you scored a 9.85. Well, thanks a lot. You know, this is really a weird format. You don't know exactly how to handle a competition like this, but the best thing you can do is pick the events you're most comfortable on and try and save the best for last. Julian, a 9-9 on the uneven parallel bars. Where did you lose that one-tenth? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> We, you had to be happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. The Chinese took this last year. You guys came back, took it this year. Really great stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Kurt Thomas and Marsha Frederick were victorious in 1980.